Anytime you have an action, you're going to have a subject that does the action. It's going to happen at a certain time or a tense, and it's going to happen at a location. And the location is where the action happens. If I walk to the store, the action is walk. I'm the one walking, and it happens to the store. If Joseph exercises at home, the action is exercise, and it happens at home. If there's a bird on the car, the bird's action is existing or just being present, and it happens on the car. Follow me so far? We start these location phrases to the store, at home, on the car, with the someone preposition E. Anytime the location is a common noun, it's going to start with E. Names, months, and pronouns are not common nouns and have different prepositions like ya or ya te. But this lesson focuses on common nouns like store, home, roof, bus, dog, cat, boy, girl, and so forth. I walk to the store. O te savaliatu i le fale uloa. The location begins with E and it ends with our common noun store or fale oloa. Joseph exercises at home. E malo sitino Joseph e le fale. The location begins with E and then it ends with our common noun home or fale. There's a bird on the car. E yaise manulele e lungo o le tavale. The location begins with E, but notice that we also give a little bit more description with lungo o by saying on top of our common noun, which is ta'avale or car. Whenever you hear stuff like on top of, in front of, below, behind, you're also going to see that they begin with E, but they also give a descriptor like lunga o, lalo o, luma o, tua o, and then our common noun. The opposite of E is when the action is coming from a place. We would say mai, like wo o savali mai le fale oloa. But that's a different lesson. Practice making location phrases with common nouns using the someone preposition E.